morning. Greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, registered pharmacist, number 12275. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use sometimes toxic pharmaceutical drugs and often deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy. I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure, because the human biological system is a healing system, regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, or if you want to get off your medication and get on a good nutritional supplement program, help a loved one, workmate, family member, friend, get off their prescription drugs and onto a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you. 844-236-6010 is our number today and every day on the bright side. If you have a success story you'd like to share, if you want to contribute to the conversation, likewise, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program, please go to brightsideben.com or you can check out my blog, pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com. And you can join the Brightside Ben team right off the website. Or if you like, you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. And if you're interested in our Truth Skin Health products, including Retinol 5% Gel, made with a whole bunch of premium, fat-soluble, stabilized, lipophilic vitamin C, fat-soluble vitamin C, Head over to truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com, and check out our other, our other skin health products as well. Okay, we're talking skin health, and we're talking skin health about, uh, in terms of how it's related to the internal milieu of the body, it's the skin and the inside of the body. For, from the way we look at things, from our perception, it seems like the outside and the inside are two distinct distinguished segments of the body. They're not. They're connected. They're the same, really. They're not even connected. They're the same. The body is a field. It's a system. You can't mess around with one part without affecting the other parts. And nothing says or expresses the failure of the medical model and how we look at the body and how we treat the body more clearly than this understanding that the body is a unit and you can't hack parts out and poison specific areas just to treat a condition you got to treat the whole body. If you have a skin problem, you've got an internal problem, specifically a blood problem and a lymph problem, a circulatory system problem. The health of all the cells in the body and the skin cells are no different, depend on the internal milieu, specifically the circulation, the blood and the lymph. Dirty blood is behind every single health challenge, whether it's in the inside or on the outside. I got a little... I got a textbook in my hot little hands here. Hall's Manual of Skin as a Marker of Underlying Disease. And this is a textbook. It'll cost you about 300 bucks to buy. And it's got some horrific pictures in it. And it's all about the relationship between skin diseases uh, and uh, the internal condition of the body. Underlying disease, you know, underlying disease and skin disease. They're a connection. And they are connected. Pretty much every rash or pigment issue or itchy skin condition or skin health challenge you could think of is, is in this book with pictures. And the book's got titles like cutaneous, meaning skin, skin manifestations of gastrointestinal diseases, skin manifestations of kidney diseases, skin lesions as a marker of nervous system disorders. These are chapters right out of the book. I'm not making this up. Dermatologic, dermatologic manifestations of lung disease. Yes, lung disease can cause skin conditions. Musculoskeletal system disorders in the skin, the skin and heart disease. Th these are all chapters. There's, there's 30 chapters here, all connecting skin conditions to inside things that are happening inside the body. And this relationship between the inside and the outside has to be recognized 
if we're going to effectively treat the skin. Look, I've been making topical skincare products since 1982, and there are things you can do topically, but if you have a a long-standing skin condition of any kind, it's so important to be able to recognize that this is the, a cry for help from the inside of the body. Now, we've been talking pigment. And in terms of pigmentation, the most deadly of all pigment conditions is melanoma. And if you ask most folks, and most doctors even, they're going to tell you it's a skin disease. Because that's the messaging that we get. That to avoid melanoma, you wear sunscreen. Even the government refers to melanoma as skin cancer and recommends... Uh, on their website, on the, on the uh, CDC, Centers for Disease Control website, if you want to prevent melanoma, increase, this is a quote off the website, quote, increase shade at playgrounds, public pools, and other public spaces, and promote sun, uh, sun protection in recreation areas, including the use and purchase of sunscreen and sunglasses. Encourage employers, child care centers, schools, and colleges to educate employees and students about sun safety and skin protection, and, res and restrict the availability and use of indoor tanning by minors. Nowhere does it say, make sure you're avoiding sugar. Nowhere does it say, make sure you're uh, uh, moving your circulatory system. Nowhere does it say, make sure you're practicing deep breathing. The messaging everywhere is that melanoma and pigmentation is a skin issue. They call it skin cancer, and it's a sun issue. And the way to avoid melanoma and pigmentation problems is stay out of the sun. And this is so misleading. Yesterday, some of you may have seen Jimmy Carter, President Jimmy Carter, had a press conference to announce and explain his cancer diagnosis, right? He's 91 years old. He's got this aggressive form of cancer. What kind of cancer? Melanoma, right? Where's the melanoma? In his liver and brain. In other words, Jimmy Can Carter, according to the government, has skin cancer of the liver, right? This is how crazy it is. The skin cancer is skin cancer of the liver. I've told the story about the cadaver I worked on when I was in pharmacy school. It was a guy, uh, a guy uh, farmer, and uh, we cut him open, his entire insides were filled with melanoma. There's no sun in his intestines. He had melanoma all over his abdominal cavity, his lungs, his intestines. How did that get there? How does Jimmy Carter get melanoma of the liver and the brain? There's no sun there. Melanoma is not a sun condition. Does the sun exacerbate things? Well, maybe. The sun is aggressive. The sun is high energy. But you don't just get melanoma by, by being out in the sun, and sun protection is not your strategy for avoiding melanoma. It's silly when you think about it. Yesterday in the journal FASEB, FASEB, I'm not sure what that stands for. Some scientific name, anyway. Uh, it's a scientific journal. New research was, it was published linking pigment, not to the sun, but to cell energy, specifically mitochondria, those little tiny factories that produce energy in a cell. Pigmentation, according to this article in FASEB, is related to cells that can't generate energy effectively, i.e., or e.g., six cells. Six cells. Where did you hear this before? Everything is six cells, not the sun. It's six cells. Pigmentation is related to cells that can't generate energy effectively to damaged, stressed out, burnt out cells. Can the sun exacerbate things? Sure. But the problem isn't the sun. It's six cells living in a toxic body. This is a quote from the article. Quote, too many people die of melanoma. The research shows a direct relationship between pigment production and the production of reactive oxygenation species, ROS. That is, uh, toxic byproducts from six cells. This is so important because if we blame the sun, we're going to miss the real problem. If we blame outside conditions, we're going to miss the real problem. If we blame anything that's outside of us, we're going to go outside of us for the solution, and we're not going to find it. Oh, will there be people selling us solutions on the outside? You better believe it for a lot of money. But the problem isn't on the outside, so the solution isn't going to be on the outside. All right, so we're talking hyperpigmentation. To review quickly, melasma, hyperpigmentation, dark spots, whatever you want to call them, as opposed to... Lipofusion, stuff that's inside, is a very important distinction to make. Melasma, hyperpigmentation on the surface of the skin, there's things we can do topically to address that. Lipofusion, no. Lipofusion, aging pigment, that's not true. All right, a couple more things to say. We'll get into some strategies for dealing with hyperpigmentation or dark spots. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back after this. On the bright side, 
Thanks for joining us on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific, 10 to 11 Central Time. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Our number today, 844-236-6010. Got lines open for you. If we left you on hold in the past, we'll get you first up. Tell our call screener that you didn't get on, and we'll put you ahead of the line. Right now, the boards are fully open, so you got an opportunity to get on board at 844-236-6010. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products, you can go to brightsideben.com. Order products right off the website, also criticalhealthnews.com and pharmacistben.com. And if you miss a program, they're all archived at brightsideben.com and also benfuchsarchives.com. If you're interested in purchasing any of the Truth Treatment products, go to truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Make sure you take a look at our 5% retinol gel. No preservatives, no surfactants or emulsifiers, nothing in there that your skin doesn't use or need. All Truth Treatment products are always made with only active and functional ingredients. Okay, we're talking hyperpigmentation, hyperpigment, just a quick review, hyperpigmentation, dark spots, you want to think about the stress response. Hyperpigment equals stress. There is a very important link between the stress hormone system and the pigmentation hormone system. That means if you're going to deal with hyperpigmentation issues, you've got to understand how to modify the stress response. Now, there's lots of nutritional strategies, and we're going to talk about a bunch of them. Vitamin B5, pantothenic acid, we'll talk about these at length here. Uh, probably in the next few days, but I was, so you get an idea, internal strategies, vitamin B5, which is one of my all-time favorite vitamins, pantothenic acid, you don't hear a lot about it, and you do need high doses. The small doses that you get in most multiple vitamin complex kinds of products isn't going to get be enough for you to uh, address, uh, address some melasma issues or pigment issues or, or adrenal issues, and vitamin B5 is crazy important for the adrenal glands, crazy important for fat metabolism and hormone production, really, really helpful for treating acne and menopausal symptoms and also for melasma. We'll talk about B5 at length. Same with vitamin C, same with zinc, same with something called pregnenolone, which we've talked about. All of these are wonderful internal nutritional supplements that you could take for really addressing the cause of melasma. Not necessarily the symptoms, but the cause. Now, with melasma, as opposed to lipofusion, you do have pigment on the surface, so you can do things topically. You can address melasma from a symptom standpoint, not from a cure standpoint or not from a prevention standpoint, but from a, sim a symptom standpoint, you can remove dark spots topically. If you go to the dermatologist, the gold standard is something called hydroquinone. The problem with hydroquinone is it's toxic. Yesterday, we talked about mercury and, and uh, Venusian ceruse, which is lead. Uh, women have historically used all kinds of crazy things for dealing with pigmentation. <clears throat> Excuse me. Why are pigmentation medicines, pigmentation products so toxic? Because if the skin wants to pigment, it's going to pigment. And the only way to not make it pigment is to kill things. That's called cyto. Cyto means cell. Cytotoxicity, poisoning cells. And that's the only way a drug is going to keep pigment from occurring whether that's mercury or lead or hydroquinone. If you've heard of parabens, just so you know, hydroquinone is very similar to parabens. <clears throat> and excuse me, most folks know, or a lot of folks know, that parabens are a problem in skincare ingredients. And now you have products that are paraben-free, parabens being preservatives. And parabens structure of parabens, it looks pretty darn close to the chemical structure of hydroquinone. Now, there's milder, over-the-counter versions of skin liners, but they don't do much. There's all kinds of herbs. Paper mulberry is in the news, in the skincare news, or skin health news. There's a uh, version of um, hydroquinone called Arbutin, A-R-B-U-T-I-N, super-duper expensive, like $1,000 a kilo. And that's the gold standard of non-hydroquinone lighteners, although technically it's a type of hydroquinone, a much gentler and much weaker and much less effective form of hydroquinone. It's not toxic. Uh, and uh, it is available over the counter. You don't need a prescription for it. If you go to the doctor or the dermatologist, you'll get a prescription for 4% hydroquinone. That's the standard dose. And you can have pharmacists, if you really, really want to get rid of pigment, you can have a pharmacist compound super high doses of hydroquinone. And as I've said in the past, I used to make 20% hydroquinone and 10% hydroquinone. Problem with hydroquinone is it's so unstable, it's so powerful, it breaks down creams and, and products very readily. So a compounding pharmacists, most of them don't even know how to make this stuff. It took me many years to figure out how to make high concentrations of it, not that I recommend anybody uses it. If you are using a hydroquinone product, you're pretty, you'd be pretty smart to use vitamin C with it for a couple of reasons. Number one, 
the vitamin C can mitigate, can, can uh, soften the blow, so to speak. It can mitigate the damage caused by the hydroquinone. And, and secondly, vitamin C has its own skin lightening effects. Vitamin C is really, really super duper good stuff for the skin. Not only is it antioxidant, protects you from the sun and stimulates the production of fibers and wound healing, just a general, wonderful, topical skin conditioning agent as long as it's fatty. But in addition to all that, vitamin C is a skin lightening agent all by itself. Yes. Why would anybody, why would anybody use a toxic pharmaceutical like hydroquinone to lighten their skin when they can use vitamin C, which is not as incredibly potent as hydroquinone, but instead of toxicity and instead of side effects and toxic effects, you're going to get beneficial effects. And even though topical vitamin C in its fatty form is expensive, it's not as expensive as a prescription. And you're going to get sun protection benefits and anti-wrinkle benefits too. And you're going to also get skin lightening benefits. If you use our truth treatment products, any of them, they all have high doses of vitamin C in them. Whether it's my Omega-6 healing cream or Truth Balm or Truth Serum or the retinol product, you're going to get high doses of vitamin C and you're going to get skin lightening benefits in addition to all of the wonderful benefits that you get from vitamin C just for anti-aging. I'm telling you folks, if you are using a skin care product and you're interested in anti-aging and it doesn't feature a high dose of fat soluble lipophilic vitamin C, you are missing the boat. And you're not going to find high doses of fat soluble vitamin C in very many products because the stuff is darn expensive. Regular vitamin C costs about $100 to the manufacturer costs, I don't know, $100, $125 a kilo, which is about 60 bucks a pound, something along those lines. Premium lipophilic vitamin C, $400 to $500 for a pound. Can you imagine this? It's like gold. It's more than gold. Vitamin C inhibits the enzyme that makes pigment. It's called tyrosinase. We talked about it a little bit yesterday. If you hear, if folks in the skincare business are always talking about tyrosinase inhibitors. Tyrosinase is a fancy way of saying tyrosine enzyme. ASE at the end of a word always means enzyme. Protease is an enzyme that destroys or breaks up protein. Amylase, ASE, amylase breaks up starch. Lipase breaks up fats. And tyrosinase works with tyrosine, the amino acid tyrosine. Now, tyrosine is an unbelievably fascinating amino acid. Very important for thyroid health. It's got antidepressant properties. I've been using tyrosine periodically now for years as a pick-me-up. I said yesterday, don't use too much tyrosine because uh, tyrosine will uh, give you a little bit of jittery, a little jitteriness. But it's, if you do just the right dose, it's way better than coffee. It gives you the same energy as coffee, plus you'll help your thyroid, plus it's got antidepressant benefits, plus it's got appetite suppressant benefits, plus it's important for brain health. Tyrosine for, uh, for uh, uh, folks who have uh, all, uh, Parkinson's disease, tyrosine is involved in, in keeping the area of the brain that breaks down when you have Parkinson's disease. Tyrosine is involved in helping, that, helping maintain the condition of that area of the brain. It's called the substantia nigra, which means the black area. Did you know there's melanin in the brain? Yes, melanin in your brain is actually responsible for helping maintain electrical, uh, the, smooth, the smooth flow of electrical energy. Parkinson's disease in this way is a melanin problem. It's a pigment problem. The death of melanin cells, melanin-making cells in the brain. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. Got more to say. We're coming back. Welcome back to The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for joining us. Got lines open for you, 844-236-6010, talking skin lightening. Vitamin C is super duper important if you're interested in anything, any kind of health issue for the skin. Vitamin C is a sun protection factor for the skin. It doesn't have an official sun protection factor number, but it does protect your skin from the sun the way nature intended our skin to be protected from the sun. It's an antioxidant. You gotta have fat soluble vitamin C and you're not gonna find high concentrations in very many products. Of course, if you use the truth treatment products, you will go to truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Coolest thing about using vitamin C, the way I look at it is that you get all these multiple, all of the multiple benefits from vitamin C. You get moisturization, improvement in fine lines and wrinkles, sun protection, uh, and also the skin lightening benefits. Remember, pigmentation and stress go hand in hand, and vitamin C is a major anti-stress vitamin. There's more vitamin C in your stress glands, your adrenal glands, than any other system in the body. 
And how many folks are vitamin C deficient? Well, pretty much everybody who's not supplementing. Remember, vitamin C is water soluble inside the body. It dissolves in the watery fluids. It goes through the kidneys. You urinate it out. If you're not on your Beyond Tangy Tangerine, sipping on it all day long throughout the day, the odds are pretty good you're going to be deficient in this anti-stress vitamin. The odds are pretty good you're going to, uh, or the odds are increased anyway, that you're going to be pigmenting. And also that you're going to have issues with melanocytes inside the brain because the pigment-making cells are inside the body, I should say, are inside the body and inside the brain too. Parkinson's disease is a disease of the melanin in the brain. Neuromelanin, they call it. Brain melanin. Neuro neurological melanin. And Parkinson's disease is a melanin disease. It's a sign that the melanocytes are breaking down inside the brain. It's like vitiligo of the brain. Again, demonstrate how all diseases are basically the same thing. You don't need special medicine for special diseases. We need overall good common sense lifestyle strategies, whether you're dealing with melanoma, melasma, hyperpigmentation, Parkinson's disease, whatever. Our health challenges, whatever they may be, are not medical issues. Medicine is not health. And disease is not a lack of medicine. It's not called dismedicine. It's called disease. It's a lack of ease, not a lack of medicine. And who can put us back at ease? Not the doctor. No surgical procedures can get us back at ease with the exception of mechanical or or uh, some kind of traumatic injury. And I've said this many times, I'll say it again, and praise God for surgeons who, who stitch up torn, torn limbs and put things back on and repair knees and ankles and joints, etc. We need them. Trauma occurs. Stuff happens. Crap happens. Entropy. But in terms of chronic long-term degenerative disease, you're looking at lifestyle, which means Nutritional supplementation, which means diet, which means food, which means correcting blood sugar issues, which means relaxation, lightening up, oxygenation, hot tubs, massages, Reiki. Sitting on the couch and practicing deep breathing is better than any prescription drug you could ever name for lowering your blood pressure and activating your healing systems and your anti-aging parasympathetic rest and digest nervous system. And you don't need Obamacare for any of that. Okay, 844-236-6010 is our number. Got lines open for you. Let's go to California and welcome Bill to the Bright Side. What's going on, Bill? Good morning. Hey, Ben. I just hey. had a quick question. Uh, you talk about fasting all the time. Yes. But I don't ever recall you mentioning whether you continue to take your BTT while fasting. That's a good question. I get that all the time. You know what the answer to that is? It doesn't matter. It could go either way. You know, if you fast without, if you, if you do a two-day fast, for example, and you don't do your BTT, it's not going to hurt you. If you do a two-day fast and you do your BTT, it's still not going to hurt you. It doesn't really matter. You're gonna, it could go either way. Personally, I don't do anything when I fast, but okay. it doesn't really matter. That's why I don't address it too much, but I, I do get that question all the time. And I, people say, do I take my supplements? Again, it doesn't matter. If you take your supplements during an intermittent fast, it's not going to affect the fast all that much, if, it, if at all. And if you do take your supplements, it's not going to affect the fast all that much, if at all, again. So it doesn't really matter either way, in my opinion. Okay, good. Is that Thank good? You. All right, cool. Have you fasted? Have you done it? Yes. Intermittent fasting? Like yeah. More than once? And how did you do? Tell, tell me a little bit about it. Um, I feel better. When you're not eating. Uh, I, I do have um, um, celiac disease, so it really helps calm my no. gut. Were you on prednisone or any steroids for it? Did no, they, what did, no. What did I'm they give not you? Doing any drugs? Did they give you drugs in the past? Um, well, many years ago, when I had psoriatic arthritis, I was taking methotrexate. But oh my goodness! How old are you, Bill? I'm going to be 66 pretty soon. Okay, so so if you, how long ago was it that you were on the methotrexate? Like decades oh, ago? Twenty years. Okay. Do you remember, can you compare the fasting, what you got from the fasting with what you got from the methotrexate in terms of results and benefits? Or is it too long ago? Yeah, that's too long ago. That's too long ago. Okay. All right. Well, I appreciate your call, Bill. Keep up the good You're work, welcome. man. Okay. Methotrexate. Thanks. Take care, bro. Yeah, methotrexate is a particularly nasty, nasty, nasty drug. There's lots of nasty drugs. But methotrexate is at or near the top of the list. It's chemotherapy. kills things. Why would a doctor give somebody a medicine? I'm laughing only because I'm not crying. But why would somebody, why would a medical professional give somebody a cytotoxic chemotherapy cell-killing drug for arthritis? You tell me. 
Now, I, oh yeah, because it kills the cells of the immune system and that suppresses the inflammation. All right, Sharon in Colorado, what's going on? Hi, Ben, love your show. Um, Thank you. I, I am calling because I have this spot on my hand between my forefinger and my middle finger. It was there last year. Which I've never seen rigor mortis, but that's how I would describe it. R- it say again, away. rigor mortis, did you say? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm kidding when I say that because I've never seen rigor mortis. But it turned really gray, like a dark... Um, that's not good. Like a dark gray. It did go away. Um, we started did vitamin C and, and uh, soaked it in sea salt water, uh, you know, a lot. But it just started coming back, and it itches. Um, I've been putting vitamin C topically on it now because I didn't Which do that vitamin before. C? Where did you get vitamin C? Well, it's a, I don't know if you want me to say the company. It's yeah, another, say the company. Uh, say um, the company. DaVita? It's DaVita. DaVita? Yeah. It's a, and it's, um, it, it's a cosmetic, it's not cosmetics like makeup, but it's a cosmetic line. Yeah. Like, Spell D-E-V-I-T-A? You know, yes, that's correct. I haven't heard of that one. Now, do you have it in front of you by any chance? I don't, unfortunately. Okay. It's a 17%. I know that, that it's a 17% solution. Does it say um, what I kind? Is it ascorbic acid, the cheapo stuff? Or you don't know, probably. I'll look I don't know. I'm I'll look sorry. it up when we go to know. our break. I'll look it up when we go to our break. <laughs> I, I, I'll check it out when we go to our break. But in the meantime, let me ask you a couple of things. You put sure. the vitamin C on the gray area. Is it in the web of the finger between your forefinger and middle finger, that little web it, area where the V is? It is. That's at the exactly bottom right. of the V. Okay, and it's, a, it's gray there? It, it was gray. Now, I've, I've jumped on it this time when it first started. There were little bumps that itch. And so I jumped on it right away with the vitamin C, and it's, it seems to be going away. No, Earlier. Th- like, here's the deal. This is a great question because you, could, you can't pick a more extreme part of your body with the exception of maybe the nail of the fingers or the toes. You can't pick a more extreme part of the body than where you're, where you're describing, right? That's about the okay. end. That's the very edges of the body. All right. Sure. So what I'm going to show you here, and this is such a great question. What I'm going to show you here is how you, as a skincare professional, healthcare professional, how you address a seemingly uh, a condition that's affecting the seemingly the edge, the very outermost part of the body. And we'll show you how we do this. So that's, I'm okay. glad you called. Hang tight. Don't go away. We've got to take a break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. 844-236-6010 is our number. And uh, we'll be back right after this. Don't go away. Okay, we are back on the bright side. I'm pharmacist Ben. We're talking to Sharon in Colorado. Hey, Sharon, have we met? Hey, uh, no, we haven't. Uh, where in Colorado are you? Um, we actually are out in Erie. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Erie's beautiful. I remember I used to go to Erie back in the late seventies, and there was nothing there, just like a little grocery store. Now it's all built yeah. up, it's crazy, huh? It is all built up, crazy. <laughs> all right, so uh, you're dealing with a little gray in the extremities in the web of your finger, and you're using Davita vitamin C. I did some research during the break. Mm-hmm. I can't believe these. I don't know how people like the state, and I don't know how they live with themselves. Ingredients: aloe, a green tea castor seed oil, citric acid, and then L-ascorbic acid, the cheapo stuff, and then something called magnesium ascorbyl phosphate, which is just one of the silliest forms of vitamin C. We'll get into that here in the next couple of days. Lemon peel oil, orange peel oil, coenzyme Q10, and glucosamine. That's the ingredients. I don't know if that's all the ingredients. Probably not. Um, In any case, don't waste your money. I, maybe put that. I don't know how that's going to benefit you. Is it is it turning brown at all? The bottle, the product it should start to get darker um, over time. You know, the unfortunately, I just bought a new bottle. Um, the old bottle did. It turned like a dark green. Yeah, it's brown. called oxidation. Yeah. And companies like this should be ashamed of themselves. Mrs. Davida, who runs this company, she. I don't know how people live with themselves. How do people sell a product that rots, that turns brown in the bottle? <laughs> You know what happens when you put an oxidized ingredient on your skin? You accelerate your oxidation. So if you're, cu- if yeah. you're, it's crazy. If it's brown, it made me nervous to see that brown come out of that bottle. You send it, like, it back, get your money back. Tell them to talk to me. Uh, it just it makes me so angry. You know. All right. So here's the deal. This is how we work with this. You have a problem that seems like it's on the extremity of your body, the edge of your body, as close to the edge as it can get. Mm-hmm. But. Because you, if you understand what's happening in the body, you understand you have a blood condition, not a skin condition, and the blood circulates everywhere. So you have a little grayness there, okay? And it's itchy. That can mean two mm-hmm. things, the deposition of pigment 
or it can mean you're not getting circulation there. Now, because it's itchy, I'm going to guess that you have a, a deposition of pigment, and that pigment comes in into the blood. Where do you suppose? Through the digestive system. When you have excess pigmentation on the inside of the body, and I'm not talking lipofusion where it's deposited, but I'm talking more like underneath the eyes or as part of the circula circulatory system. Now, this, do you know what lipofusion is? Have you heard us talking about that? I have the, heard the you kind talk of, about it. It's like brown spots that older folks get, and by older folks, yep. I mean they're, that, that's not what this is, right? No, not at all. Yeah. It, okay, it this is more like peel, a, the skin peels like it would if after I soaked it in um, sea salt, it, it actually would peel away a little bit, layer by layer. Yeah, and then what was underneath? Good skin. Yeah. Okay, so it's a skin. It's actually a skin issue, not underneath the skin. It, it, you, it you can't is. tell. It, it, Can you tell I it's a feel, surface? Can, surface or underneath? I would say surface. Okay, now that's a little bit different. So these are important distinctions to make. That means that you're not, if it's on the surface, that means the cells are not getting nourished appropriately. And that's, again, is a circulatory problem. So here's what you do, and this is why I think this question is so important. It seems like this thing is on the outside of the body, but it's not because everything is connected and it's all related to the blood. And the way you get into the blood, the way you uh, clean the blood, is by stopping the stream of toxicity that gets into the blood. Does that make sense so far? Because yeah. I'm going to how to yep. do it in a sec. Okay. Now, assuming you're not an IV drug user, the main okay. way things get into the blood is through the digestive system. So what you got to do is the same thing somebody with arthritis has to do, or the same thing somebody with Bell's palsy has to do, or the same thing somebody with myasthenia gravis or acne or anything else has to do. You got to work backwards, troubleshoot, go back to the three points of disease, the three major points of the development of disease, the digestive system, the blood sugar system, and the oxygenation stress system the adrenal stress system. Mm -hmm. So first, do a food diary. Look for problem foods. If you don't have a digestive issue, you just don't know you have a digestive issue. You've got to find it because there's no topical, uh, a topical problem that occurs with the exception of allergies, topical allergies, which doesn't sound like that is, that isn't right. related at least partially to the digestive system. So do you have issues with foods? If you do, Start to eliminate problem foods and start to support the digestive system with the bioluminitely essence, with the Fucoid Z, with digestive enzymes after meals, the ultimate enzymes after meals, with a little bit of apple cider vinegar. Does that make sense so far? Yep. Now, do you, do you know that you have a uh, history of food issues or gallbladder removal or liver problems or anything like that? Nothing like that that I'm aware of. Okay, keep track of it. Now, the skin is very receptive to fatty nutrients, and fatty nutrients are the hardest ones to absorb. So make sure you're taking extra amounts of fatty nutrients, and that includes minerals. Zinc is the go-to mineral for the skin, all skin conditions. 50 milligrams a day of zinc. Make sure you're taking it with your EFAs, your ultimate EFAs, and make sure you're taking your ultimate EFAs and your zinc with your ultimate enzymes. It makes sense? All together. Because yep. those are the most difficult nutrients to absorb. I'd also be throwing in 20,000 IU of vitamin A as well. Then uh, last but not least, you want to make sure that you're stabilizing the body by relaxation, doing uh, deep breathing techniques to improve the circulatory system, oxygenation. You might also want to work with your blood sugar system, but that could be further on down the road. Most important thing to recognize is you don't have a topical problem. You've got an internal problem that's showing up topically. Okay? Unless sure. it's an allergy, it's always going to be an internal issue. And throw that brown stuff out or send it back. Get your money back. Tell them if it's, you know what? If it's brown, flush it down. That's what I say. All right. All right. Thank you, Sharon. Yellow, let it mellow. <laughs> Thanks, Sharon. Have a great day. All right. Thank you. Good to you talk too. to you. All right. Robert in Colorado. What's going on, man? Hey, Ben Robert. Skinny Robert? Here. Is this Skinny Good to hear Robert? From you. Skinny Robert? Yes, yes, Skinny Robert. How much weight have you lost? Give us an update. Oh. Um, um, gosh, I don't know. Just just a little bit over 120. 120 <laughs> pounds in what? A year and a half? Two years? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, 18 months. That's pretty darn amazing. So, because when I saw, I met you about two years ago. I met you it was summer two yeah, yeah. years ago, and you. I'm not going to say, but you were very overweight, and you lost a. <laughs> Right, and you lost yep. 120 pounds just by using good nutrition and the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. You're like a yep, you're like a poster child for the benefits of of longevity and Dr. Wallach's products. Right, right. right. Although you're not alone, you know you're not alone. There's a <laughs> know, there's a lot of folks who've lost a lot of weight. What's yes, going on today? How can hey, I? Hey, uh, my wife broke her fibula. Oh no, I'm and sorry. And she, I know, I know. She's just, I mean, I've got to get get her on a protocol of something. She just. The, the challenge is she doesn't like the BTT. Sip on uh, it. I, Even when she I, sips on it, she doesn't like it? 
No, no, no. I, I mean, I just got the capsules in, so that's fine. But uh, she's got bad bone density. She ended up with, instead of one lag screw holding her leg together, she's got a plate and six screws. Okay. So right. um, That's not good. You know, she, it, that's a sign it, the body's breaking down, Robert. So yeah, listen, yeah. we go back to basics here, all right? Now, if you can get her to do anything for her digestive system, that's going to help, including okay. intermittent fasting, caloric restriction, eliminating problem foods. All right? Fasting, caloric okay. restriction, eliminating problem foods. Get her on the Swero V. Does she okay. like the Swero V? Have you tried that? Um, she has not. Have her replacing I like as... Uh, I love it, too. Have her replacing as much of her calories with Swero V as possible. So you don't want to, like, you know, get her on anything, a super intense fasting-type diet where she fasts once a week or twice a week. She may not be up for that. But if you can get her just to replace snacking and replace meals with some Swero V, which is extremely satisfying, that'll get her on the right track and start right. the ball rolling. Also, vegetable juices. If you get a Vitamix and grind up vegetable juices, celery is especially good, but you can throw in a little beet and carrot because they're sweet, not too much. Uh, right. And again, replace her meals and her snacks with the vegetable juice, like with the Swear V. That will help. And also, right. one, of, one of your best friends for dieting and also for skin care, as we're going to talk about here next week, is a coffee grinder that costs you 15 right. bucks. Why? Well, we're going to talk about how you can make your own skin care products next week, anti uh, your skin lightening products, uh, skin smoothing products with a coffee grinder next week. But as far as uh, uh, dieting goes and changing the way you eat, a coffee grinder is a great way to make fiber drinks where you take seeds. For, I like flax seeds, but you can use any kinds of seeds, chia seeds, for example, and just add them to water or add them to a little coconut milk and make a, a ground up fiber drink. And it's incredibly filling and incredibly satisfying. If you start your meals off with a, fi with a ground up flaxseed drink and make sure you do use them fresh because flaxseeds oxidize pretty quickly. So uh, make sure you use them fresh uh, and then put it in water and start your meals off with them or in the middle of the day, it'll keep you from snacking. It will also keep you from eating as much during your, when you're eating your meals. It'll help you with your bowel movements and detoxification. Plus you'll get all the benefits of the seeds which include vitamin E, and minerals and uh, phytohormones or phytonutrients. Just, it's a great nutritional strategy. So right, all of right. that will help her wean herself off of the foods because the more yeah. she's eating, the harder it's going to be for her to heal. Now, Eating's another not a problem. What's that? Eating's not a problem. She, she's barely eating now. Um, and still... Well, something's like, inflaming her. Something's yeah, yeah. inflaming her, so she's got the wrong kinds of foods. If she's not eating a lot, she's right. eating the uh, wrong foods. Now, so, I'm switching her over to that, but she doesn't have any... She's tired constantly. And it's I all related to, find, to the digestive yeah. system. There's a stream right, right. of toxicity that's getting into her body through the digestive right. system. So the strategies I was just giving you is not necessarily to keep her from eating as much. It's from to keep her from eating the same kinds of foods. Robert, we're out right, of time. Right. Right. I'd love it if you call back. It's a great question. It's, uh, if you can call back Monday, that would be awesome. Sure. Thanks for your call, Robert. I appreciate it. Bye. All right, buddy. Bye. Okay, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for listening, friends. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Check out my webpage, brightsideben.com and pharmacistben.com. You can order longevity products right off the website. And check out the Truth Treatment products, truthtreatments.com. Make sure you take a specially long look at the retinol gel. Thanks for listening. Have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now. Thank you.